Hi guys, welcome back to my 100 baby challenge. I went a little crazy uh, and downloaded a bunch of mods and a bunch of CC, just getting excited getting back into The Sims again. So that should be fun for us to explore a little bit today. Hopefully we will get to spin the wheel today. Um, otherwise, my baby is napping. I am mainlining coffee, so let's play some Sims 4. And we are back in our 100 baby household. Completely forgot that we're going to start right up with Winterfest today. So that's exciting. And a broken shower. Very good. Very good. Um, we've got right away Eco going potty. Good job, Eco. And she looks like she's up for the day. It is seven. So everybody should kind of be up for the day. What do we have in here for food? Hey, look at us. Let's spring out that cake for breakfast. Everybody loves a little cake for breakfast. So Eco, go ahead and take a piece of cake for breakfast. And Emma, Emma, we're going to let Emma sleep for a little bit. Everybody must be tired, huh? Let's check out some energy. Well, people should start waking up. Oh, nobody's going to have to go to school today because it's Winterfest. Carter is has a party animal lesson. Carter's a party animal. Party animals want to attend or host any type of party and enjoy fun activities. Okay, Carter. Maybe you can do that when you leave the house. Um, some of you guys have maybe noticed, I told you I went a little crazy downloading CC and mods. So I did just update our house a little bit. We had, I think we left like last episode with a little over 3,000 simoleons. You can see I got us down to 171 after some updates. So I expanded the house a little bit. If you can tell that it's a little, just a little bit bigger um, than what it had been. I added some really cute, fun CC toys for the toddlers that I got. Um, so I got this rocking horse that I think they can use. Let's try it, Eco. Let's ride on the rocking horse. Um, I got these poofs here, hoping that the toddlers would eat on these instead of trying to route all the way outside to our picnic table or all the way into their rooms. Um, I just made this like a little baby room because we're gonna have babies again soon. So I put that in there. What else did I get for us? I got these custom cribs for our next infants and a cute little custom changing table. And then just some more toys. I went really crazy with like toddler stuff. Um, so I got this little cute xylophone, a rock -a stack. I'm not sure what skills those get up, so I'll have to test that. But look at Eco riding on her little horse. Or elephant, sorry, but it's like a little rocking horse. So cute. Let's see what skill is she getting. Oh, and she gets imagination from doing that. Go, Eco, go. I love it. Okay, so just, yeah, some cute stuff like that. I um, did a little bit more with, like, we're calling this the teen and kid room. Just added a little desk in there. And then a few things outside, too. So added marbles for the kids to play. A little basketball hoop right over here. New picnic table. A toddler activity station. So just lots of cute, like, new stuff for us to hopefully be able to play with. What's Sawyer doing? She wants to hang out with Eco right away. She's doing flashcards. Oh, cute. Let's get uh, Emma up because Emma is probably more of our toddler who needs to be doing things. She needs potty and she needs thinking. So we're gonna have her go potty right away. Good morning, Emma. Maybe we'll get you to age up today. So priorities are definitely going to be age ups per usual. Um, and then also getting Sawyer pregnant again, which actually is kind of the thing I want to work on first here. Callie's just grabbing some leftovers of grilled cheese. Carter's also grabbing some leftovers of grilled cheese. So that's perfect. I'm just going to kind of let the kids sleep as long as they want. Um, and I always have to do a grade check. So Waverly is a B. Winter is a B because those guys just aged up. Carter's an A. And then Callie's a B. So we definitely want to make sure she does her homework and stuff today. And Emma got to potty level three. Good job, Emma. Okay. So then all Emma needs is thinking, which I'm going to let her eat something quick. And then she can work on her thinking skill a little bit more. Sawyer, oh. Elijah Dowager is calling to chat with Waverly, who is sleeping. Does she want to answer? But she's going to answer. She's going to wake up. 
Oh, very cool. She's going to wake up and talk to her brother. And Sawyer, let's fix the shower really quick. And then when we're done fixing the shower, we are going to work on having another baby. And we have somebody teed up all to do that. So this is Angelo, who we had been working on our relationship with. <laughs> Very exciting. So we are going to get Sawyer to um, have another baby with him. And she fixed that so fast. Good job, Sawyer. So let's call him up. It's 1055, so that should be okay. So we're just going to call him and ask him to come hang out. We're going to say, hey, want to come hang out with us and our all of our children? And he says, heck yeah, I'll be right over, babe. Oh my gosh, and he's already here. He's so fast. Okay, let's just do a quick hello and brighten his day. He wants to talk to Waverly. Somebody broke the sink. So somebody better fix the sink. But we're just going to say a quick hi. And can we woohoo with him right away? Carter's taking garbages out. Uh, we can. So let's do that. Let's try for a pregnancy. Hey, it's been so long since we've had a new baby in this house or since we've tried. He's embarrassed, but hopefully he still wants to try for a baby with us. Yay, he's going to do it. He's like, sure, I want to be part of like helping to populate the planet. And Sawyer's feeling great about that. Okay. Everybody stay out of mom's room for a little bit and let's get everybody else sorted. Okay, Winter. Just absolutely farting. Great. Callie, what do you got going on here? You need video games. Okay, fine. I accept. I accept. You're tense because you need video games. So play a game. Play Sims Forever. Waverly, get out of there. I t why would you walk in there? Okay, well, Waverly's traumatized now. Sawyer. So she wants to take a bath. How about you take a pregnancy test quick? How about you just come play Sim Shape? Emma, get your thinking skill up. Come on, baby, baby, baby. Oh, she's not pregnant. We got to try again. Uh, Try for a baby again. Okay, we got Emma working on thinking. Eco and Carter are just talking to each other over here. Having a little sibling time. Winter is talking to Callie. Callie's getting her video game fix in. Winter, I doubt very much. Oh, and Eco got to communication level five. Cute. Um, Winter, I doubt you've done your high school homework. So why don't you do your homework? Waverly is uncomfortable. Why? Poseidon's kiss. You know, don't act like you don't know. You know that thing? Interesting. I don't know that thing. Waverly, I know you're high maintenance, but let's repair the sink and then mop the puddle. How about that? You can be my fixer today. You finishing up in there, Sawyer? Okay, perfection. Let's come and take a pregnancy test. Come on, Sawyer. Yay! Sawyer's pregnant. There's going to be a new addition to this household. Oh, that's so exciting! It's been a while since she's been pregnant, and she's always so cute with her little bumps. She's very stinky, but yay, Sawyer. Okay, let's go ahead and take a shower, and then we'll start working on some Winterfest stuff because she has a lot of love for Winterfest, so I definitely want to make sure she gets to celebrate it. Also, we shouldn't have eaten that cake because Eco and Emma are probably going to age up in this episode, and we could have used the cake. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, not very good forward thinking on my part. But as long as we did, Sawyer, why don't you come take a piece of cake? She is very happy about being pregnant. She wants children. So she's happy to know that there's a child on the way. However, she does have a little sad mood that, oh, from that was from the, um, from the first time she failed to conceive. So she's definitely very excited to be pregnant. Um, is Angelo still here? Or did he leave already? Oh, he's painting a painting out here. And now he's going to go. Okay, he painted a atrocious painting. And now he's out of here. Bye. Probably never see you again. Okay, she wants to do the grand meal. So I am going to have her cook a grand meal. And we'll just do, how about a turkey dinner? Waverly also has a school project. Oh, so does Winter. So we can have them work on that too. Does anybody else have a school project? 
Wait, yeah, what? Carter has a school project. So then everybody probably has school projects. So we could get them working on those too. Um, Carter, do you want to work on your school project outside? I kind of feel like you like the outdoors. Callie got her video game time in. She's got a project. So Callie, come work on your project. Emma's working on her thinking skill. Eco is mad. Eco, why are you so mad? Eco's kind of our like mean, mad little girl all the time. But what's going on, Eco? She's mad because of sugar now. Okay, chill. You had cake for breakfast. I think we can chill. Sawyer, where did you? Oh, you put the turkey in here. Interesting choice. How about we put it out here for everybody to enjoy? Emma's hungry. Eco, how about you just grab a serving with mom who's got babies on the way. It's so tempting to me to go in and cheat just to see uh, how many babies we're having and boys, girls. We've had so many girls in this house, so I kind of hope we have a few more boys, but we'll see. Maybe we'll continue on the trend of, of having girlies. Waverly, I know you have a project, so you probably need to do your project as well. Winter, did you do your homework? Hey, Emma got to thinking level three. Good job, Emma. That means we can officially age those two up. Um, let me get Winter working on her project. So we'll have all the teens out here doing their projects. And Emma, we can get you off of the sim shape now. And we can get you guys aged up. How exciting. Sawyer's just going to do all sorts of cooking today because we're going to have her make a cake now again since we already ate this cake. Oops. Oh my gosh, and it's already 7.30 p.m. in our game. Today went so fast. Did Sawyer get to do... She had her grand meal. She kind of still needs to have some festive spirit. Unfortunately, like the decor and the opening presents, I don't think we can do because, yeah, we literally have 64 simoleons. I really should have prioritized so you're painting today. Why are you going to go put everything on this desk? I need to put something on this desk so she can't do that. Um, but let's add birthday candles, Sawyer. Okay, let's do it. Let's age these two up. I'm just going to double check that Emma is good and Eco is good. Perfect. Let's do it, Sawyer. So let's help blow out candles, Eco. Here we go. Yay. 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 Good job, Eco. You're going to be a kid. Oh, sorry. She's feeling a little sick. Here she goes. Perfect. Oh, I added a bunch of like custom traits and stuff too. So this will be fun to see if we get any of those. Um, here we go. Let's see what she's going to be. She was an inquisitive toddler. And she's going to be a smug child, which kind of makes sense because Eco was our like biter and she was kind of mean to everybody. Um, so smug, these Sims have, have excessive pride in themselves and their achievements. They're very confident and are constantly pleased with themselves. Okay, Eco, She's a very uh, confident girly, I guess. And let's get her a aspiration. Hey Siri, pick a number one through five. Okay, and it looks like we got a two. So she is going to be a mental kid. Emma, don't go anywhere. Or Eco, don't go anywhere. You want to see your sister age up. And here goes Emma. Good job, Emma. Yay. Eco could care less. Uh, she might be a little self-centered. She might be a little self-centered. Good job, Emma. Okay, Emma was an angelic toddler, and she is going to be a determined. It's going to be her first skill. So as a child, these sims do not allow any difficulties to stop them. They gain all skills faster by staying focused and confident. Very cool. So they're both pretty confident um, in what they are doing or what they have going on. Let's get her an aspiration. Siri. Siri. Pick a number one through five. Okay, and we got a one. So she is actually going to be a creative of bean. Very cute. Oh, uh, wow. The CC really, really showed up for her, huh? <laughs> 
So I'm actually gonna jump into Cass right away with these two and get their makeovers done. I will be right back. Eco and Emma are done. We'll start with Eco. I don't really know what I was going for with Eco style. I'm kind of hoping it comes along more as she gets older um so she kind of ended up just having a little bit of like an eclectic style but this is what she looks like we kept her birthmark that she's had um i think both of these two ended up looking quite a bit like their dad if i remember right this is her everyday outfit her formal her athletic her sleep party swim hot weather and cold weather then we will switch to her sister emma this is emma this is what emma looks like um i forgot to mention that my um eyelashes that i usually use for some reason aren't working on kids they work just fine on teens and adults so i might have to go check that out um, when I get out of game, but for now I just left them off because they were a little glitchy or looked a little weird. Um, but this is Emma. This is what Emma looks like. Again, I kind of think she looks a lot like her dad. Her, I went with a little bit more of a preppy style. So this is her everyday, her formal, athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, her hot weather and then her cold weather which is really cute with pumpkins i'm so excited for fall but okay that is those two all done let's jump back in the game we still got everybody out here working on their projects um but i am probably gonna send these guys oh father winter's here okay let's get sawyer to ask for a present because she really is in love with winter fest so I want her to be able to get a present. So go do a friendly introduction. I am actually probably going to try to get everybody else off to bed. And I just thought like, I don't know that we have beds for these kids because we have these four beds for those four guys. Haha, <laughs> shoot. This always happens to me. I need to be better about like thinking ahead. So for right now, these guys don't have beds and we only have 44 simoleons. One of you is going to sleep with mom. Which one of you is more tired? Eco, Eco, where are you sleeping? Are you sleeping in the tent? Okay, great. Eco is in the tent. So Eco, you stay in the tent. You seem to be happy in there. Emma, why don't you come sleep in mom's bed? Okay, great. We're going to get up places to sleep. Don't even worry about it. Okay, Sawyer, ask for a present. We have an introduction to attraction. She has a neutral attraction to, to Father Winter. Amazing. Carter finished his school project. So did Callie. Sawyer got a present, which she absolutely deserves. What'd she get? Oh, she got an easel. That's awesome. That's actually like a perfect present for her. Okay, so we're go to the bathroom. Let's get everybody else kind of sorted and settled here and into bed. Kelly, why are you getting out of bed? Oh, because you're going through a phase. Callie's going through a phase. Callie is feeling distant and will prefer to be alone for a while. Okay, well, that's okay, Callie. You can be alone in your room that you share with uh, three of your siblings. <laughs> oh, Oh, you're just going to have to be alone with other people. Oh, now Carter's going through a phase. He's having a bit of a mean streak and feels like being more nasty with other Sims. Carter, don't be like that. It's because he hasn't gotten to party lately. I'm sorry we haven't let you party. After that shower, Carter is also going to head to bed. Everything's broken and dirty, so that's fun. Probably should have been working on that today. Um, but here we are. We just need to send everybody to sleep. And we'll work on the broken stuff and making money and having babies and doing everything tomorrow. Also, I would like to point out that some of you might say that it's mean that we're making Eco uh, sleep in the tent outside. But think about who her dad is, okay? Her dad is Knox. 
and they love you know eco-friendly being outdoors so to her this is like perfect she's loving it so I'm not a bad mom okay Thursday morning, uh, I just have us paused quick, but we got some kid O's awake here. We have to make sure that Callie goes to school in a good mood today because her and Carter could definitely age up. So Callie, let's get you sorted first. You need to take a shower and then you need to eat. Um, let's get you some turkey dinner leftovers and she's just uncomfortable waverly's also up waverly you're gonna have to fix this toilet if you want to pee and you do have to pee very badly so how about you come fix that toilet sawyer's energy is good so i'm actually gonna get her up uh we need to paint we have like no money is there anything we can paint with 44 simoleons there's not. So we have to figure out how to get a few more uh, simoleons in our bank account so we can even paint. So sorry, we're going to definitely have to work on that today. Waverly, why are you enraged? She says this is the worst day ever. Way worse than the last worst day ever. Oh, that's because she's high maintenance. Probably she's high maintenance and there's like trash in the bathroom and everything's broken and I made her fix the toilet. So, okay, fine. Carter, wake up. You got to go to school pretty soon. See if you can grab a piece of cake. And Eco, wake up. You got to go to school pretty soon. She actually got some good sleep out in that tent, though. Maybe you can go to the bathroom before you go to school. Waverly, get out of the bathroom. I know. You're going to go to school in a terrible mood, but... Um, what do we got here? Winter seems to thrive on the shock and rage of others. Is it time to admit that she likes mischief? Sure, Winter can like mischief. That seems chaotic and fun to have her like mischief. Waverly, get out of the bathroom. Everybody needs to go to school. Okay, here they go. Waverly stomping out the door. Bye, Waverly. Bye, Eco. You're stinky and you have to pee. Sorry about that. Have a good day. Where's everybody else? Carter's eating cake. This game really just wants Sawyer to be neat. No, we're not doing it. Because she's cleaning all the time. She cleans because she has to clean all the time. Okay. Our kids are off, which is great. Except for Carter, who is just casually eating cake in his boxers. Carter, you have to go to school. Carter, there you go. Go to school. Good job, my dude. Change Sawyer's outfit just since we're casually hanging out at home today. Now, Sawyer, how do we make a few bucks so that you can paint? Oh, that's right. We got a whole nother easel for Christmas from Father Winter. We could also sell some of our upgrade parts uh, or this rose that I think we've got as a gift as well. Let's sell this rose and that'll be just enough that we can get a painting. I don't know why, but I kind of want to keep that other easel. Like just in case we would, I don't know, need it or we could set it up outside so the kids could paint and make us extra money. Okay, so you come and paint. And that's maybe what we're going to really focus on doing today is painting so we can get some extra money before we have this baby. How are you feeling, by the way? She is feeling, oh, she's having some morning sickness. She woke up feeling violently right. ill. Yeah. That is rough. I, yeah. I know what that's like. That is rough. But overall, she's feeling still pretty happy. And she is going to be in her second trimester very, very soon. Sawyer so painted an absolutely terrifying painting, if I do say so myself. I hate clowns, so that's horrible, Sawyer, but good for you. You made us some money. We at least now have 511 simoleons. <gasps> Elijah's here. Elijah, oh, he's angry. Don't go destroy a project. Elijah, why are you so angry? Oh, you're excited to see your mom? Sawyer, so come invite Elijah in. Come say hi to Elijah. Come invite him in. Hi, Elijah. Oh, thanks for visiting. She's like, sure, come in. So I clean up these plates. He is big mad, though. I wonder why. You're mad because you don't live with us anymore and you miss us. We miss you too, Elijah. Okay, casually just do some push-ups. Mom's just going to paint. So if you want to hang out and talk with her... That's pretty cool. You can definitely do that while she paints. 
<laughs> just hyping up your mom. Okay, let's do an impressionism painting. Let's do a large one. Elijah's like, how's it going, mom? I see you're pregnant again. Good job. Me and Emerson are doing well in our new house. Uh, nothing's really too new with that. He's feeling energized now. Oh, he just needed some time with his mom. Stick around, Elijah. The kids will be back home soon. You can say hi to all your brothers and sisters. They're going to talk about property values in the neighborhood. Elijah's such an adult. Okay, let's check out what we got here. Eco's work is merely satisfactory. That's okay. It was her first day at school. Emma is doing satisfactory work, but she could improve a little. Again, that's okay. It's her first day. Waverly is a B student. Winter is already an A student. Okay, great job, Winter. Excelling. Carter's an A. We already know that. Oh my gosh. Kelly is still a B student. And Waverly stole an object. Okay, great job, Waverly. Callie, is it a skill? Like, what do we need to... You don't have a skill to level three. I'm a doom doom head. Okay, because she's fine. She needs to get a skill to level three. She's very tense, our Callie is, because she's close to her family. and She wants to just get away. And she's around a smug sim. Those sims are unbearably satisfied about themselves. I think that would be Eco. And is Eco, Eco is feeling smug. She is, what's this one? Self-righteous. These sims are pleased with themselves because they believe that they are better than other sims. Oh, and Callie cannot stand it. <laughs> okay, Callie. And you want a little break from your family? Oh, we need to get a skill up. What can we do that gets you away from your family for a little bit and get a skill up? Your two handiness, two logic, two rocket science, two video games. But video games is way it's hand. We gotta do handiness. We gotta do handiness, and we do have a broken something, a sink. Okay, come repair this sink. Maybe that will help you. I don't. I don't know. Okay, Everly's in rage still because she's having a terrible day. She wants to hit the stuffy. We're gonna take a shower instead. And then Winter's also enraged because she's not okay. Okay, I was trying to talk about Winter, Eco, but you would butt in with a need here because you're very smug and everything's about you. I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Of course you do. Can I do that? Well, Sawyer's going to say, no, she's not going to say she'll give it to somebody else, especially for Eco, who needs to learn to like, care about other people a little bit she's gonna say that present was for you and you need to be grateful winter can you run off your your anger here let's have you go for a little jog winter needs anger management yeah she does she's very angry she gets so angry that i don't know what to do uh sawyer said do a workout that's what she told her to do she said go for a run oh my god uh, these kids are so needy uh, she doesn't know who she wants to be or who she is. This is Callie. We're going to tell her she doesn't really have time. She's going to age up very stu soon. She's going to pick pick something you like. Winter, go for your run. Callie, did you get your skill up? You did. Your handiness level three. Okay, now you can age up tomorrow. Sawyer did a masterpiece. We're going to sell this for 906. Oh, bye, Elijah. Eliza, Elijah said he should get going. Everyone needs something. I need these pop-ups to just calm down. Some kids at school are being mean to one of my friends, says Emma. Sawyer is going to tell her to step in and stand up for her friend. Is Callie's talking to Eco. Oh, no. And she's very tense. Look at her. Callie's probably like, Eco. I cannot stand how smug you are being. Why are you like this? And Eco is probably like, listen, I'm the best. I don't know what to tell you. I'm good at everything. Everybody loves me. And just making Callie like more and more and more upset. Waverly is feeling forlorn. No one likes her. No one will ever like her. People like you, Waverly. Relax. These teenagers are real needy right now. Oh, but they're hugging it out. I wonder if Eco was like, listen, I, oh, but they hate each other. These two's relationship is like very confusing to me right now. They've maybe come to like a, a, 
a loose understanding. That's what, that's what we're going to go with. They've come to a loose understanding of each other. Emma's doing her homework. That's what I was going to have her do. Oh, good job, Emma. It's because she's such a little focused, determined bean. She's going to be our like very studious, like she's going to be like a lawyer or a doctor or I don't know, something like that, like a very high paying, high powered kind of job, a CEO. Why is she sad, though? She's not the favorite. But but why can't Emma be the favorite? Sawyer, who did you say your favorite was? You're never supposed to do that. Or was it me? Was it because I said winter was my favorite? Ooh, yikes, yikes. Okay, I was really hoping that Callie and Carter would be out of here by tomorrow so they wouldn't be eligible for government testing. But they're going to have to freaking go in the pool one more time because I'm a dumb, dumb head and didn't get Callie's skill up. So... Unfortunately, they are going to be in the pool tomorrow morning for government testing. Um, Ego, you need to do your homework. Do your homework. I know you need fun too, but you waited too long to have fun and that's on you. Waverly's just talking to her mom over here and I kind of want to get the teenagers jobs so they can help with money because Sawyer can't have a job, but these teens can get a job. So how about you call Waverly and check out what you could get for a job. Okay, she could babysit. She could be a barista. Waverly likes to steal. We know that about Waverly. She likes to steal. Oh, she wants to live the beach life. So lifeguard could be an option here. Just seeing if there was anything else that looked like it might fit her. But I think lifeguard is going to be the way to go with her because she wants to be a beach bum anyway. And then it looks like she'll work from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. and make $40 an hour. Okay, so she's our first kiddo with a with a little job. She's going to be a wave watcher. Winter is going to eat her cake, and then she's going to do her homework. Oh, no, she's lactose intolerant. She's going to feel uncomfortable. I'm sorry, Winter. I knew I knew this was going to be bad for us. She said it wasn't worth it. She should have known not to defy time. She should have known not to defy the dairy gods. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Winter. You're probably going to have to stop doing your homework to go, to go do a, a little poo-poo. Everyone else is on homework other than Emma, who already did her homework. And she's already got a skill to level two. So Emma's playing video games, and she gets to play video games. Sawyer finished her painting. We're going to sell that for 1,205 simoleons. That's amazing. Winter farts all the time. <laughs> I don't know why. She farts all the time. Oh, Winter farts all the time because she's lactose intolerant. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Carter's going to make eggs and toast, and we are going to hope he doesn't burn the house down. She's lactose intolerant, and I probably keep telling her to eat lactose, which leads her to fart all the time. So there's that. Okay, we figured it out. And then we're going to start sending everybody to bed. Oh, some Sims just can't seem to get along. Eco, eco, eco. Um... Would you say that Carter and Eco have a difficult family dynamic? I would. I would also say her and Callie have a difficult family dynamic. I think Eco is just kind of a bratty kid. And both Carter and Callie are like fed up with it. So yeah, sure. We will say that they have a difficult family dynamic. And they got a little sentiment towards each other as well. Which is they have a festering grudge. They have a little bit of a bitter sentiment. We'll see if that gets better as they get older. But. I think right now Eco is just, look at her. She's just like yelling at him and laughing. Oh, and Carter's sad about it. Oof. She's just kind of a, yeah, she's a tough, she's a rough kid. Maybe a little difficult to be around. Okay, Carter's going to please his, clean your plate up and then go to bed. Quit talking to Eco. Come and sleep. Winter, I actually want you, wait a go doing push-ups i want you to get a job like your sister did so let's have you find a job 
You guys are going to be my first couple teens with jobs, and we're going to see how this goes. We tried knitting. I feel like that didn't make us a ton of money, so we're going to try jobs. I feel like none of these kids are going to want to babysit because they constantly do that at home. She could be a barista. We could do camp counselor, a dog walker, which she might actually like because she's active. Maybe we'll have her do some influencing because I could see Winter doing that. But do, is this an active career? Well, let's see it. If it's an active career that I actually have to do stuff with, I just might not be able to. So we'll see how it goes. Eco, where are you napping at? Or oh, you're napping on the couch. You know, maybe the reason Eco is such an angry child is because she doesn't have a bed to sleep in. And she's sleeping outside in the tent. I would probably be a pretty angry child if the rest of my family was sleeping in the house and I had to sleep in a tent as well. Okay, so I think you are good. So let's go ahead and come and go to bed. Oh, the sink's broken. Actually, repair the sink. Also, we probably need to work on putting um, mobiles on these cribs. I had one on our last one that we had, and it was really nice. You guys told me to do that. Maybe she's not super tired. Maybe we could do one of those really quick. Yay, and we added a little bird mobile. So good job, Sawyer. Okay, go to sleep. Is it mobile? I think I'm saying that right. But if I'm not, feel free to uh, let me know. Earthquake. That was actually our first earthquake so far, though. So I feel like we've done pretty well. Got a few kids waking up here. From the earthquake, Waverly, who had a really weird dream. That happens to me sometimes too. Okay, let's uh, clean out the spoiled food, Waverly. Some of you guys can be awake, that's fine. Then open the fridge and let's take out the eggs and toast for everybody that Carter made. Everybody say thank you, Carter. And now Emma came out to talk to her twin. It at least seems like these two get along okay. I don't want Eco to have like no friends in the house, you know? So that's good. Everybody's in a pretty good mood. We spin the wheel, remember, when kids come home on Friday so that we go into the weekend with it. Um, so we will do that. We will send them all off to school. And then we will do that. I do think Callie's going to come home with an A grade. Um, but I think technically, since they're still going to be teens, I can't. <sighs> I don't know if I should, if they should be. El I think they're going to be eligible. I think they have to be eligible. It's going to suck really bad if it's one of those two that gets picked because then we won't be able to age them up right away but I think that's my bad for not getting her skill up and if you go into Friday maybe we'll say that's the rule if you go into Friday as a teenager you're eligible even if you age could age up that day um no Sawyer's not erratic yeah see I think this influencer career is one that you just do stuff at home for so we might have to swap that out with something else because I wish I had time to do that. That'd be very fun, but I just don't think we have time to do that. So Winter, let's have you quit your job already. And then let's get you a job, Winter, that you can actually like go to and do. I think we're gonna do, let's do Dog Walker from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. And it's $5 an hour. She's gonna make us like no money, but okay, fine, we'll do it. Okay, off to school you go, everyone. Carter wants to adult. Carter's like, I'm sick of waiting for Callie to get an A grade. Can I be an adult now? And what I would like to say is, I know your sister needs to get it together. Uh, what I'm going to say is we'll see what we can do. Hopefully she becomes an A grade today. I definitely think she will. Anything that we need to clean, fix, do before we start painting. Nothing that I can see. We are going to add uh, another mobile to this crib. We have a bird one, so let's do a space one. And then after that, we are just going to paint the day away. Kyle! Kyle said, what's up, Sawyer? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Sure, Kyle. Kyle is just always trying to help us with our mission and our kids. Kyle's our BFF. We love Kyle. We're actually just going to have her make a quick garden salad since she was craving healthy food, which is amazing. I wish that when I was pregnant, I craved healthy food. <laughs> it was certainly not the case. Although I did really crave bananas. Um, and bananas are healthy. Like, I didn't have a ton of cra cravings. She maxed her cooking skill. Good job, Sawyer. I didn't have a ton of cravings. 
Um, we're actually just going to put that away. But bananas was one thing that I was like, ooh, sometimes I could just really go for a banana, you know? All right, Sawyer, let's keep painting. Let's keep it going. Boom, our kids are home. What do we got? Let's see. We have Eco, who is a B student. Great job, Eco. Emma, who's a B student. Great job, Emma. Uh, Waverly did below average on her exam. E. Uh, Carter did above average. Callie's grades are up. She is an A grade. Great job, Callie. I'm actually really sad to say goodbye to Callie and Carter. I love them, but uh, Winter did below average on her exam. Great job, Winter. And then Waverly swiped another object. <laughs> Waverly just is stealing things every day. And she's upset. Why are you upset? She has irrational hatred for the sun. Listen, I've never related with anything more. I hate the sun. <laughs> Part of it's because I'm so pale, but like everybody else is like, oh, soak up the sun. And I'm like, it's hot. It makes me sweat. It hurts my skin, like physically hurts my skin, even if I'm just in it for a little bit, right? Like anyway, I want to be upset with her, but maybe I'm a little high maintenance because I also hate the sun. So kind of with you, girl. And it's winter here, so the sun shouldn't be that strong. But anyway, um, these two have their A grades. They can age up. We are going to spin the wheel first. And that's actually the first thing I'm going to do right now that they're all nicely standing out here because uh, we'll send one of them away and I really hope it's not Callie or Carter's because then we could just age them up right away and it would just be nice but we will see let me pull up our wheel here okay we have our wheel all of their names should be on there Callie Carter Eco Emma Winter Waverly let's spin it and see who we get okay here it goes who are we gonna get Looks like we're safe for Callie and Carter, but we're going to get winter. No. Okay. I mean, it's not Callie and it's not Carter, so I'll take that. Um, but it is going to be winter, unfortunately. Oh, that's so sad. We'll hit play. Winter, how you doing? Oh, she's actually like in a good mood, too, and everything. Okay, winter. We're going to say bye. Spend weekend with. Government agent two. There we go. Okay, he's here to pick up winter. I just kind of had to like reset some things and some people. Okay, we're going to say bye winter. We will see you Sunday. No, you're not taking anyone else. You're just taking winter. We will see you Sunday, okay? You'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Oh my gosh. Okay, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be good. So you're sell this. Go to the bathroom quick. And then we have to make a birthday cake for Callie and Carter because they are going to get to age up and leave the house. Okay, Waverly, chill. I was sad about Emerson and Elijah, but I don't know. I'm just like really sad about Callie and Carter. They're just such like cool beans. <laughs> They like make our family cooler, uh, but I, it's okay. They got to go sometime, right? Oh, Waverly's going to work for the first time. Horribly mad, but have a good day at work, Waverly. As a lifeguard, she's very upset. Uh, oh, cause she, oh, that's, oh, this just clicked for me. She hates the sun, but she wants to live a beach life. And I've now made her a lifeguard. How conflicting for this poor, poor girl. <laughs> Oh, man. Waverly is a complicated, uh, she's a complicated kid. Let me tell you. She's a complicated little bean. So you're just going to bring the birthday cake all the way into the kids' room. Amazing. Oh, I'm just now, like, feeling so sad for Waverly. <laughs> that she, like, hates the sun. But for some reason, wants like, she maybe just wants to be near the beach, I guess. But she doesn't want to be out in the sun. So you're at birthday candles. Everybody come over here to say goodbye to Callie and Carter. Come here. Eco, stop being mean to people. Unreal. 
I cannot remember between these two who's older. So we are just going to have Carter come and blow his candles out quick. Sawyer, you can't go to bed. Sawyer always wants to go to bed when it's her kid's birthday. So you can't go to bed yet. Here we go, Carter. Happy birthday. Yay. Okay. So, of course, we know he's a child of the ocean. He's a party animal. And he is also a dog lover. <laughs> Carter. I also need to start looking at what their aspirations are as teens so I can just transfer it over instead of picking a new one every time. But for this time, we'll just pick another one, I guess, because I can't remember what his was. So, hey, Siri, pick a number one through 14. We got a 10, three, six, nine, 10, love. Pick a number one through four. And we got a three. So he wants to be a serial romantic who lives by the beach and parties and has a dog, which just all tracks for the son of Kyle. Can I just say this worked? I did not cheat this. This worked out so perfectly. <laughs> he is Kyle's son. Good job, Carter. But he's sweet and we love him. And Elijah sent a gift, which is adorable. Okay, add those birthday candles on there, Callie. Sawyer, please come back and watch Callie age up. These are your children that are moving out of the house. Callie, blow out your candles. Okay, Sawyer. Well, we're very happy for you, Callie. Oh, she's back. Okay, good. Yay, Callie. Happy birthday. And Callie is our geek dance machine who also is emotional. These Sims experience strong and long-lasting emotions. Good job, Callie. Very sweet. Hey, Siri, pick a number one through 14, and she's going to get a two, which is athletic. Hey, Siri, pick a number one through three, and we got a three. So she wants to be a bodybuilder. She's an emotional, dancing, nerdy bodybuilder, and I love that for her. Yay, Callie. And the best thing about this for you two is you get to um, be away from Eco now, which I think you both will probably love. And look, Callie and Eco are hugging, but they hate hugging. So again, just a complicated relationship, but I think they were saying bye, maybe. I don't understand those two. Uh, okay, let's get them out of here. <laughs> Okay, we have moved in Callie and Carter with Elijah and Emerson. So there they are. We're going to let them go off and live their lives as they would like to right next door to us, though, of course, um, so we can be near and dear to them. And just like that, we only have four people in our house, five technically winters just um, off at government testing. So I'm not I'm not gonna have to do anything. Sawyer could have twins and we'd be okay. She could even have triplets. Woof. And um, we would be okay with that as well with Winter still being able to come back. I do need to stop being a doom doom head about these birthday cakes and start like continuing to put birthday candles on them and keeping them in the fridge. We can stop eating them. We have enough food and other things going on. So we're gonna have birthday candles that we're going to throw that in the fridge. And I do think that that is where I'm going to leave this one off this time. Next time we'll get to see what the results of Winter's government testing are. Maybe these two will age up. They're both B students and working pretty quickly towards becoming A students. They've got their skill. Um, so it's possible that next time they could age up into teenagers. We'll have teens in the house. Um, again, four teens in the house. And then, of course, we'll have new babies with whatever Sawyer is cooking up in there. So thank you guys for hanging out with me this time. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.